Every chainsaw manual teaches how to safely cut a tree, and every single manual teaches making a horizontal back cut. The steel manual says cut horizontally. The Husqvarna manual says the felling cut must be perfectly horizontal. So why do so many people ignore the advice of experts and make an angled back cut? Jeff Jepson, author of the book To Fell a Tree, which is known by many loggers and arborists as the Tree Feller's Bible, explains. You may have noticed stumps with an angled back cut. This is a dangerous practice which you will never see promoted as an acceptable method of felling trees, as it greatly reduces the effectiveness of the hinge. OSHA restricts its use. They are usually made by uninformed beginning tree cutters who believe the angled cut will help prevent the tree from falling backwards off the stump. But what are the underlying mechanical reasons? Let's take a look. So just imagine this tree is, you know, 10 or 12 inches in diameter. And what I'm going to do is an angle cut. And I'm going to go about as far as we normally would when we hinge cut. So the idea is you want this tree to go in this direction. But if it's a bigger tree, it may fall back on you. And you can put a wedge back in here with a bigger tree. Now I've cut through far enough that I could pull that tree down right now pretty close to it. I'm going to go just a little further and take a picture of how far through my saw is on this. And now I'm going to do a flat cut under it. And I'm going to make this flat cut a lot further through than I did the other cut. So it is completely ready to release and we're going to see which one of these break off. You imagine this is a big tree and what's happening here is this tree is completely released down here. There's just a little bit of wood holding it. There's a lot more wood holding it up here. So why is it that it takes so many more cuts to do an angle cut than it does to do a flat cut? Well first when you do an angle cut you're cutting down along the grain of the wood you're not just cutting across the wood. If you do a flat cut, you're doing a cross cut. It turns out that both a handsaw and a chainsaw are more efficient at cutting across the grain than they are cutting with the grain. Since you're partially cutting with the grain, it actually takes more work for the saw to chew when you're doing an angle cut. The other thing has to do with the distance you're cutting. Let's say you have a four inch diameter tree. If you want to cut three quarters of the way through that tree, it takes three inches of cutting to do a flat cut. But if you do an angle cut at a 45 degree angle, that's 4.2 inches. That may not seem like much, but if you were to do a hundred of these four inch trees, you're cutting a whopping extra 10 feet of wood to do those hundred trees. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of wear and tear on the equipment, and it's a lot of wear and tear on your body. And you're doing all that extra work in order to make a more unstable hinge. It gave first up here on the top. The bottom one didn't even give. Why is that? Because here I was pulling on a lever that's angled down like this and it broke that apart across the grain. This is my holding wood right here. It was almost a third of the tree. Here's my holding wood on the other side. Look at the difference in the amount of holding wood there. Which one broke? The angle cut. The angle cut will always be weaker and break first. That didn't go as planned. <laughs> It might have been more accurate to say it didn't go as expected. It was a perfect plan if you wanted to make the hinge fail and cause the tree to fall the wrong way. Just cut too far through with the face cut and then do an angled back cut, causing it to break and slide forward off the stump. Here's another perfectly executed plan. A steep angled back cut causes the tree to slide forward off the stump and then fall backwards. Like the previous example, Having a rope to pull on did not help to prevent the tree from falling backwards, but instead, 
It helped apply more pressure on the already weakened hinge. The mechanics are exactly the same for hinge cutting as for conventional cutting. If the tree leans back, it will apply pressure across the grain instead of along the grain, breaking the hinge and causing the tree to fall backwards after it slides off the stump.